All right, what's going on? Today we're gonna to start training like a champion. I want every one of you to think about yourself as being a champion. You are a champion. So today I'm gonna to talk about some simple exercises. The way you get the most out of your workout is you involve more of your body for every exercise. So I'm gonna talk about the difference between some isolation, some simple exercises, and how to get more out of it. So let's start with a simple exercise like bicep curls, dumbbell curls. All right. Now I'm going to do dumbbell curls. You start here and you tend to curl up. You see people do dumbbell curls all the time. This is the only joint you're using is the elbow joint. The only one that's moving. Whenever one joint is being used, that's called an isolation exercise. That means you're not using a lot of your body. You're using a very small part of your body, which means you're going to get a less benefit. So you can bicep curls work great for developing the bicep, but it doesn't do much for the overall effect of the body. So when you do an exercise, I want you to start thinking about doing more than one joint movement for an exercise. So that's called an isolation exercise. Another isolation exercise is if a person is doing like tricep extensions, where they're doing something like this. Now they're only, again, using the elbow joint. They're working the triceps, but they're only using the elbow joint. Isolation exercise will be something like this one, where you're here and you're raising. Good exercise, but Again, now you're only using the shoulder joint. So multi-exercise, multi-joint exercise, called a compound exercise, where you're using multiple joints. When I take this here, and I go from here to here, now I'm using the shoulder joints as well as the elbow joint to do this exercise. I'm using triceps, I'm using the shoulders, I'm using a little bit of the upper back to do this exercise. Involving more of the body means I'm doing more as far as fat burning, conditioning, building muscle, that's called compound. Another compound exercise, well I'll show you another isolation. Isolation exercise you see in the gym all the time. Watch this. That's leg extensions. Again, an isolation because the only thing you're using is the knee is the knee joint? You only you work the quads, good, but you're just not using the body as much as possible. But if you're doing an exercise where you're having to bend, now you're using the hip joints as well as the knee joints, so you're involving more of the muscle. You can tell just as simple by doing a couple reps. I feel the whole body is being used. So when you're doing an exercise, when you're doing a routine. Start doing compound movements. An exercise or exercises that involves more of the body than maybe just one area being moved. So that's the difference between compound exercises and isolation exercises. Now, this is part one. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go through a routine involving the upper body using compound exercises. All right, that's the start. Training like a champion. See you next time. Bye.